Hey everybody, so don't mind me, I don't have any makeup on, but that's the point. Um, I'm going to do a video, uh, don't mind my mess behind me, I didn't make my bed today. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a review on Stella. Uh, I just recently got their foundation. Um, I've never tried this one, so I'm very curious. Uh, I'll be honest, usually the full price would be a decent amount for this. I got it at... I think it's Marshalls or something like that. I was like, let me test it out for that price. I'm willing. I love their their uh, liquid metals and stuff. It's like a mousse, so I'm very curious to see how this works. Um, I'm trying to organize myself here. I'm working out of my. Uh, I'm working on my bed on a very unsturdy thing. Am I my dog in the background? So I'm gonna try it with. Uh, one of the regular brushes for a foundation brush. See how this works. Uh, I'm just gonna dip it in. See, whenever you, I, the bad part about doing videos is like, you never really capture the lighting. It, this actually looks like it matches my face. Although on the camera, because of the natural light coming in, it doesn't look like it matches at all. So I know I'm gonna get comments of, it doesn't look like it matches your, it's too light. This is actually really dark foundation. Um, I'm a mess. Push that back a little. So as you can see, like the coverage is pretty good. That was my dark spot and it's nearly gone. Cause one thing I do love is full coverage makeups. I usually use, um, I usually use Kat Von D. Sometimes I'll use It Cosmetics. Um, I tried a few other ones. Well, wait till you, it really does look like it's not like my color, but it really is. I will bring in different lighting in a minute so you can really get the effect, the look of it. Um, also, I've gotten sunburn recently, if you've seen any of my other videos. Um, like I said, you, you can't really, you can't really see too much on the, uh, I will tell you this, it's with a brush, it's definitely a little on the streaky side, the piece of hair that's killing me. There it is, it's still attached. There we go, okay. I'm definitely going to have to fix right in here because this is the type of foundation that you need a really good moisturizer first. And I am a bad person at these videos. Alright, let me real fast bring the camera in some less. That looks darker there. <laughs> it's a little blotchy. Alright, let me take you down. So you get a better view of it. You can see I'm blotchy a bit. I didn't do above my eyebrows, but I'm just trying to show you that the color is actually my color. It's the lighting that's messing with it a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to put you back. Now that you have a, a better idea of what it looks like. Um, I'm not done at all. Like I said, the, my forehead, you can see it's where this was... I'm going to use a setter. I should have used a lotion. Worst ever. Let me do a review. Let me mangle the review. Um, plus, I want to go over the spots where it needs to be over. Like I said, I didn't do my eyebrows, so it looks kind of weird. Looks like a dark spot over my eyebrow. <laughs> but I just, this will thicken it up a little bit. So weird how it, it looks. The lighting looks so different um, in this mirror compared to the camera. Okay, so this stuff is like super blotchy, super super blotchy. You definitely need a sponge. So hang with me. I'm gonna grab a sponge. I could adjust. Okay, so I pause your face and grab a sponge. Now, I don't have any of my good sponges with me, I'm gonna be honest. Um, 
I just threw out mine. I actually need to get a replacement. I want to um, I want to show you with the regular lighting so that it's not so so you can get a better idea of my color. Now look how blotchy this is. And look when you wipe it with a sponge. It like disappears off your skin. This stuff is very weird. Like what is that? <laughs> like you cannot use a sponge because it absorbs all the stuff off of your face. What is that? Um, and it looks blotchy. It looks like you have dirty skin. I don't know if you've ever experienced that where it's so um so yeah so you basically you have to use a brush this is not a foundation that you can't you have to use a brush and even after i don't know if you could even pick this up it makes my skin look really like different shades i look like i have weird pigmentation over here really weird so i mean once it has a setting powder it might be totally different but i mean Um, it dries so weird. So weird. I don't recommend this. 100% do not recommend this. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. It's like a, mu a mousse. And, um, sorry, I'm trying to adjust my hair. I'm a mess. Um, don't mind my mess right now. I'm doing laundry and stuff like that. <laughs> if that does splash in a camera. So once it dries, it doesn't look as bad but some spots on my nose you just can't see in this lighting I don't know if I can hold on there we go look at my nose see the lines all over and the like what is that it's so bad oh it don't look that bad in the lighting it looks like oh it blends but it doesn't match your chest no no it matches my color perfect except for the fact that like like that that's not good. And if I go like this, it will probably wipe it off. Am I right? Oh yeah, I'm right. Okay, so still a foundation is not worth it. Don't buy it. Don't like it. I'm not even going to finish with this because I'm going to have to wash my face because I have some rash looking thing going on. I'll, I'll just use my regular makeup. Um... It was always worth a try. I mean, like I said, I got it from Ross, and I think the sale price, I paid $12.99 for it, so I guess you get what you pay for. But if I went to Sephora and I bought this, it would have been a lot more money. So, there you go. Hope that helped, guys. Don't buy it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more reviews, suggestions. Please, please, please feel free to leave comments and suggestions if you think there's a better makeup out there to try for a first time try um make sure you like and subscribe thanks guys